Mortgage misery eases in the U.S. housing market, but is it enough to make a real difference? Welcome to Market Insight, I'm David Pollard. The interest rate for the most popular 30-year U.S. home loan has plunged to its lowest level in 15 months. That after the Fed signaled it could start cutting rates in September, and as a downshift in the jobs market bolstered bets that any cuts could be big. It all gives potential home buyers some relief in what's become an increasingly unaffordable housing market in recent years, as home prices and borrowing costs both rose. Well, joining me now is housing specialist Odetta Cushy, Deputy Chief Economist at First American. Welcome, Odetta. Many thanks for joining us today. The 30-year rate now at 6.47%, according to Freddie Mac today, compared to a peak of 7.9% last October. That's Obviously good news for home buyers, but to what degree will it translate into refinance and purchase activity? Yeah, you know, the market moves ahead of the Fed, and so the anticipation of uh, rate cuts is driving longer term rates down, including mortgages. And that's certainly uh, some relief for potential home buyers uh, and existing homeowners. We've seen refinance activity pick up relative to a year ago, but, you know, purchase activity has been sluggish to respond. And I think that's because, you know, potential home buyers are, are facing an uncertain market. Some of them may think that rates uh, are likely to decline further, uh, but really I think it comes down to affordability. Certainly lower mortgage rates help affordability, but we still have record high house prices. And so, uh, you know, we still have an affordability constrained market and, and still limited inventory. So will mortgage rates decline further? Is the, is the more downward pressure in your view? I think that we could see some gradual declines in mortgage rates for the remainder of the year. Uh, certainly when the Fed uh, announces their, you know, when there's more certainty around the, uh, you know, how big the rate cuts might be and how frequent that they might be, we, we might see some declines in mortgage rates. And of course, if any incoming economic and labor market data between now and the, and the end of the year uh, come in weaker than expected, we could see some additional downward pressure on mortgage rates. Now, you point out in your notes that 86% of existing homeowners have a mortgage rate below 6%. So this recent slide in mortgage rates is going to make presumably little difference to them, isn't it? That's right. Sellers are rate locked in. They locked into rates, you know, around 3% and sometimes even lower over the pandemic. And so they don't have a financial incentive to give up those super low rates. So, you know, rates uh, dipping to the low 6%, that, that might encourage some sellers to, to put their homes on the market, but it's not enough to unlock the majority of existing homeowners. So what about the broad backdrop to all this? Where will the Fed go from here? Could an emergency cut be on the cards after all the worries about recession, or is that just fantasy in your view? I don't see an emergency rate cut uh, in the cards. I think that it would take further deterior deterioration in the labor market and the economic data to, to see an emergency rate cut. Uh, I still think that they're on track for a rate cut in September. And now really the big question is, is it a 25 basis point rate cut or a 50 basis point rate cut? The market seems to think it's 50, uh, but we have some more data coming in between now and that meeting. And, and I think that that will really, uh, will, time will tell uh, what the size of that rate cut will be. In the meantime, housing still remains a huge financial challenge for many Americans, for whom obviously the jobs market is absolutely crucial. What is your outlook there after the recent weakness we've seen in payrolls numbers? You know, we're starting to see some red flags in the jobs numbers, an increase in the unemployment rate. While the unemployment rate remains historically low, it's really that that trend uh, higher that that is concerning and the more sluggish pace of hiring that that's a concern for us. And so, as you mentioned, you know, right now that that deterioration in the labor market is contributing the lower mortgage rates. But we need a healthy job market uh, for for uh, sustained demand in, in, in the housing market. And so uh, a, a resilient labor market will be incredibly important uh, to the health of the housing market and to maintaining robust demand. So if you are going to put a sporting bet on where the housing market is going to be in, let's say, a year's time, is it going to be better or worse in your view? I think that we'll see some improvements in the housing market once we get stabilization in the mortgage rate. And of course, if, if the labor market remains healthy, I think we should see some improvements in the housing market. Okay, Odetta Kushi, your first American. Many thanks for joining us today and sharing your thoughts. That is Market Insight. We have more videos on Reuters.com.